stealing my onesie. I am. Um, I just contacted the guitar shop, and the guy who um, what's the word? The tech for Taylor Guitars is in America. So you don't get your Taylor guitar fixed by anyone, by, but Taylor Tech people, because you know Taylor guitars are amazing. You don't just give it to anyone to fix. So now I'm like, oh, he's not gonna be back till next week. So I have no guitar for another week. Um, but I thought I'd show you the new little garden outside of our little house. Look at my hair. Oh God, I need to fix that. But anyway, um, Rich has created a little garden outside of our house, so it looks much cuter. I don't know if you guys remember beforehand, it was all tree and bush and stuff. And now we have plants and flowers and lemon tree, and it's pretty and cute. And yes. Now I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm going to shower, make my feel, myself feel clean. Um... Gonna do my eyes are all puffed so I don't want to make a makeup tutorial and I haven't been making makeup tutorials because I've been feeling so shitty and you don't want to like I don't know I don't want to be on camera trying to be like this is how to look all beautiful and stuff when you don't feel beautiful and stuff so um no makeup tutorials maybe I can do some painting <sighs> I look like shit. I'm gonna have a shower and make myself feel human. Hey guys, just an update on today. I'm still in my onesie and it is now nighttime. Um, bleh. What did I do today? I think the most important part of this vlog, the reason I started vlogging, is that um, Katrina watched my video and she came to the house and um, pretty much was like, I'm taking you to, you to the doctor and so uh, I've just been to the doctor um, and I've been diagnosed with depression and anxiety which is pretty much what I already knew I had I just hadn't had a official diagnosis and now I'm picking up antidepressants um, and I've been given a mental health care plan to go see a counsellor or psychiatrist or whatever it is. Um, I'm documenting this because I th uh, the comments that I've been receiving on my video today that I uploaded today have been, um, or you'll be watching this the day after. Anyway, the comments that I've received on my last video have been overwhelmingly supportive and people have thanked me for putting the video up. Um, showing what I'm going through and I figured well my whole point in doing this is to document the journey <sighs> so I am putting this up and I'm filming all the shit I'm going through and yeah so I mean I've had these feelings for like for over a year well over a year now um, since I saw my dad in Lebanon um, you can go back and find those vlogs. Um, you see that I'm talking about how it's really hard to be there. And I came back from Lebanon and I had my first panic attack. <sighs> and I, um, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I, I've put up with it for this long and I think I, I just needed someone to to take me to the doctor like because I I knew I needed to go to the doctor I just didn't know it was, took took so much effort to just go like to push myself to go and I'd drive past here drive past the doctors like to get food because it's, it's in the same complex and I'd get food you know get groceries and I'd look at the doctor and I'd think I need to go in there but the, the moment, like, I know that I need to go in there, but the actual taking the effort and going, right, I'm going in. I'm making an appointment. Like, that took, I don't know why, it felt like so much effort. So when I spoke to Kat this evening, she just just called the doctor right there and then and said, that's it, I'm taking you. And so I'm sitting in her car right now waiting for her. She's picking up my prescription because I'm in a onesie and I feel really self-conscious. Um, 
tell you guys, she's getting my, my, uh, it feels so weird to say that I'm on antidepressants. I'm about to start taking antidepressants. I think the reason I freak out about it so much and I have such trouble accepting that is because I just, I associate antidepressants and depression and everything with my dad and I have a really hard time relating, I, I don't know, I just, I don't like, as, I, as you saw in my last video, I don't want to be like my dad and the crap that I went through for so long in my life, having him the way he was and not understanding it and just being so confused as to why I didn't have a dad around and now I'm like fuck I am that person right now and I I get it and I feel bad for him and I feel guilty and I at the same time I don't want to I don't want to be the person that gives up like he did like he just gave up and I get that he couldn't I guess he, he, he let it go for so long that he um he couldn't fight anymore, like he'd beat him. But I don't I don't wanna be beaten and I guess I'm really scared because I don't wanna be become dependent on antidepressants and so I'm doing counselling now and I just feel I don't know. You feel like you fail as a human because you can't function. And I'm laughing because I know that it's okay to not be able to function. So I guess I'm just, I don't know, I feel really stupid, but at the same time I'm like, no, this is what I need to do, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to get better, and I'm not going to be stuck, and I'm not going to turn into my dad, and I don't know, I feel really weird, I'm talking to a camera in a car, in a car park. Anyway, that's today's progress. It's funny how you go from, like, one day finally admitting you have a problem in public to your viewers and then the next day you were going and solving like starting the the journey to solving it <sighs> i have a weird relationship with the thought of antidepressants because of my past because of my dad and i guess that it's just something i'm gonna have to come to terms with this is my journey and i i encourage anyone out there who's who's suffering or anyone out there who has a friend or relative who is suffering, take them to the doctor or take them somewhere. Like they can't, sometimes they can't do it for themselves. So just put them in the fucking car and take them. Because we can't, we can't do it by ourselves. It's too scary, it's too hard. <laughs> anyway. The next struggle will be making sure I take this thing once every day and not missing a day and um, going to the counselor and this is gonna be really hard. it's gonna be hard. <laughs> this is hard. I mean it's not hard, it's fine. It's gonna be okay. Um, anyway. Another vlog of me crying on YouTube. Awesome. As I said, I'm documenting this because I want people to see that they can fight it. And I don't want anyone else to end up like my dad. And I don't want... I don't want to give up. I don't want to let go and I don't want it to beat me. Because I know I've got too much to live for and too much to give and so many things that I've wanted to achieve. And I've not been able to yet, so I'm going to continue along this path to fixing myself so I can do those things. And you know, hey, this might make really good song lyrics one day. Uh, thanks, Cat, for just just chucking me in the car and, you know, some, sometimes you just need that, need that push. I don't want her to catch me vlogging when she comes back, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm gonna end the vlog here today. Um, I think you guys had enough of emotional roller coaster. Let's try and have a good day tomorrow. 
Okay, guys. Um, by the way, thank you so much for all your positive messages. Um, I literally was inundated. I I couldn't even keep up with the positive messages and the supportive messages from you guys. Um, you you guys literally took the effort to not only comment on the video but like track me down on all my social media and even my emails and everything and just let me know that you were there if I needed you. Even people that I've never spoken to before in my life, you know, like people that are strangers. It's just so weird to think that there are all these people out there that, that are willing to help me and you don't even know me, you know. Anyway, thank you and I'll see you guys tomorrow.